one. Okay, a so few things to show you that I have picked up from the drugstore and some other places in the past month, maybe. And I've just been meaning to show it. Some stuff I've showed in Friday Favorites, some stuff is just kind of new. So I'm just going to get started and show you some of the things. Um, first up, my friend Cassie told me about this, and I'm so glad I listened. It's the Aveeno Clear Complexion BB Cream. Looks like this. I got mine in Fair to Light. It says it's oil-free. It has sunscreen. Um, BB cream with sunscreen, broad spectrum, fair to light. Looks like this is the box. Anyway, I did not know. Instantly evens and brightens complexion. Helps blend away imperfections and breakouts. Fade the look of marks and past breakouts. Moisturizes and nourishes. Okay, so I'm always skeptical when I try BB creams from the drugstore, but I'm just going to show you this. It has like a little pump on it, and this is what it looks like right here, and I just want to show you the coverage. So, really nice coverage. Um, goes on really, really smooth. I'm just going to kind of do that right there. You can see that was just one pump. So, very, very nice coverage. I didn't see a darker color, but that doesn't mean there isn't a darker color there. Uh, so, I just blended that into my hand, and that is what it looked like blended in. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so good. It smells like, it has a very pleasant, fresh smell. It doesn't smell just like sunscreen, but there is sunscreen in it. So, very, very nice, and it is oil-free. So I showed this in my Friday favorites, but this is a Jordana blush, and it's in the color Rose Silk. I think you can find Jordana blushes uh, at, here's the color right here, it's so pretty. It's just like a muted pink color, but it shows up really nice and it's really silky on cheeks. Um, not too powdery, there's the color right there. I found this at my grocery store. It was like around two dollars, but you can find Jordana blushes at, sold at Walgreens if you can, if you don't have them at your grocery store. Um, so Walgreens is where you can find them, and also I think that you can get them at CherryCulture.com. So if you if they don't sell them at Walgreens near you, then you can get it at CherryCulture.com. But love this. Would love to try more colors in it. I think I'm going to pick up a few more colors. It's control for all hair types. It's just like an anti frizz spray. I've tried this a little bit, not enough to like notice a huge, huge difference. Um, and I got ended up getting the Moroccan oil treatment. I really love the way these smell. Um, I've heard that you should go very light on this because it has the tendency to weigh your hair down. So I just put like a little tiny, tiny drop. So that will last a while. And then the other thing that I said I had wanted and I think she threw in was this little hairspray. This is the Stronghold. Seriously, this stuff is like for babies. It's like, I'm just gonna spray it on my hair right now. Ooh, ooh. It doesn't do anything. This is a stronghold, but I mean, it doesn't make your hair crunchy. So if you don't like hairspray, but you want semi like something just to like hold it a little bit, I would suggest this. But it, I don't think for the price. It says it's no weightless, natural look, no sticky residue. I don't feel like it holds your hair, but maybe that's the point of it. Like, it does hold your hair, but you can't feel like it is. So, um, I don't know if I would say that this necessarily works. Like, I love it, but um, enough to spend the money on it. So, but she just threw this one in for me to try. I, I also talked about these in my Friday favorites. These are the um, Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. I had heard Emily Noel83 talk about these. This one is in Bright Berry. I'll swatch that for you. Really pretty berry color. And this one is in Sweet Watermelon. Really nice pink color. Now, these are not... Oh, these smell so good. They smell like candy. That's the Sweet Watermelon. That's the berry one. Really, really pretty. I think they're like everyday wearable. Let me just put some of that one over. That's nice. I'm wearing Candy Yum Yum right now. I'm wearing Pink Pigeon right now, so I just put a little bit of that over it. 
They feel really good on the lips and they smell really good. Um, I really, really like these. I hadn't heard anything about them until she said that they were one of her favorites. So I went and picked them up and I'm really, really happy with them. I know I've recommended them to a friend and she really likes them as well. I found mine at Target, but I know you can find them at Ulta and most drugstores. Another thing I picked up recently was this. It says Lip Loud, Lip Out Loud, shine, Super Shiny Gloss. This is from Milan or from Jordana, and this is in the color 107. I guess it doesn't say. I think the color is called FYI. Yeah, FYI. It's just a very pink gloss from Jordana. Lip Out Loud is what it's called. So this smells oh, so good. It has like a flat doe foot applicator. And it just smells so good. It's just a very neutral pink color. It seems like it's semi-opaque right there. It's really pretty. I just thought I would try it. I picked it out to go with the new Milani Bold Statement Lips, which I'll show you in a minute, or Bold Statement Lip Colors, new Bold Statement Lip Colors. I, I picked it out to go with that. I just thought I would try it, um, but it just smells so good. I, lo I love the smell of these, so if you really like good smelling lip gloss, and it has a little bit of sparkle in it, but nothing you would notice on your lips. I think it's just really shiny. The next three things I picked up are from the Flower Collection. Um, I did a haul on this already. I did a first impressions on the Flower Collection at Walmart from Drew Barrymore already. Um, but it ended up coming into my store, and that one I had ordered online. So I kind of got to see a little bit more. Um, I picked up this lip gloss in the color Baby's Breath. I thought this might be a dupe for NARS Turkish Delight. It's just, just a very milky, creamy, pink color. The only thing I don't like about these is the scent. It's not my favorite. That is it right there on the end. Very, very light. Um, I don't know. I like it. I don't love it. So that was kind of how I felt about everything from this collection. But I, I do like this color probably better than the other gloss that I got. I picked up this lipstick in the black label, which is the only ones I like. I do not like the white label ones. This is in the color Morning Glory. It's like a very pale, pale pink color. This looks like Snob from MAC to me, so that might be a dupe. I would have to swatch it next to Snob, but really, really pretty, very pale pink on the lips. Um, it's it's close to cream cup. It's a little bit more blue. Another thing I picked up, and I wasn't impressed with the first one I got. I think I just didn't like the color. But these are like the cream shadows from her line, flower the flower line. This one is in the color Awesome Blossom. Okay, so I put this. This is kind of like pomegranate punk color tattoo. It's just a very nice, it's a creamier formula. Like, I'm not kidding, I just already got too much on my finger. You seriously, it's this, the, my only complaint with this is it's like, you can't get, like it's so pigmented, you, like every time I pick up the color, it's almost like too much. So, that's a swatch of what it looks like. It's really pretty when you blend it out on the eyes. It's like a reddish toned brown color. Um, I liked it when I wore it all over my lid and then I kind of put MAC Cranberry over it and then smoked it out, um, on my eye. So I liked it. I just don't know. I think these were $7 and I just prefer the Maybelline color tattoos more. But, um, I do like this particular color in Awesome Blossom. So Milani came out with these new Statement Lipsticks and this one this is in 26 Cream Nude. Now, this is what the packaging looks like. Really, really sleek and pretty. This is like L'Oreal's My Fairest Nude. They have a smell to them, and it's like a fruity, melony smell. Um, I would say it's kind of strong, so if you don't like fruity, strong-smelling stuff, you probably wouldn't like this. There it is right there. More of a brown-toned pink, maybe, I would say, compared to the other ones. 
but still really, really pretty, a cream formula. They have so many colors, lots of lots of bright colors. I think that the line is supposed to be like a statement lip. So they have the majority of the colors are like bright reds and oranges and pinks. And so they have a wide variety of colors. I highly, and they're only like $4.99. So I highly suggest you check these out. So yeah, by Milani. Really impressed with the the way it wore the way it wears and then also this the smell the next two things are from Too Faced and I'm not really gonna talk too too much about it because I've already talked about it at the board boudoir <laughs> boudoir boudoir eye palette and my friend Cassie says I say this wrong so I don't know if I'm saying it right Some really pretty colors in it. I will definitely be doing a tutorial with this coming up soon as like a very pretty shimmery almost like white gold color uh, let's see what else birthday suit a really pretty taupey color lap dance another taupey color um, fuzzy handcuffs like a pinkish matte color Really pretty, all very pigmented. I absolutely love this palette. I got it at Ulta for 20% off because I used the, my 20% off coupon. It makes like the prettiest eye and so I really, really love it and be looking for a Valentine's Day tutorial using this. Unless Valentine's Day has already come and I haven't had this up yet. I don't know what's going to be up first, either this haul or my Valentine's Day tutorial, but if my tutorial is already up, I will link it in the Okay, and the next thing I got is this Too Faced La Creme lipstick. Oh, I'm in love. It smells so good like candy. This is in Razzle Dazzle, Razzle Dazzle Rose. I want, like, Marshmallow Bunny is the one I want, and then... I think Nude Beach. That's the color right there. Perfect, like everyday, wearable, not too bright, not too pale, like the perfect color. I love, love, love this color. It's almost like a pinkish, purplish tone color. I don't know. It's so pretty on and it feels so good. These feel like the YSL Rouge Velup, except for they don't have as much slip, but they have as much shine, as much creaminess and they smell the same, like so good just like those and they're the fraction of the price so really love these Too Faced lipsticks. The last thing is I've already also talked about it is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Okay you guys this mascara I wasn't gonna get it because I just didn't think it was gonna be worth it but it is definitely worth it. It makes me look like I'm wearing false lashes when I wear it and um, I absolutely love the brush. So Definitely worth it.